so we are at Leatherby's and we're matching. Because that's how we are. Matching, um, matching. Yeah. So I've never been here and I'm going to try Cookie Monster ice cream. I look so shitty. Boo. My hair. Boo. Boo this man. He looks so good. Thank you, baby. But yeah, so we're going to get ice cream. We just saw Lisa Frankenstein also. Yeah. What do we think of Lisa Frankenstein? It was so good. Yeah. Classic. It, it feels like an instant classic. It's an me. 80s movie based in the 80s, but it feels like, like you said, it's like, it's like the if kind we were of, little and we watched that for the first time, it would be... It feels like a movie that I grew up with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so um, we'll talk about more in the car. But I'll show you how the ice cream looks. Babe, that is a huge sundae. Don't it looks me. good though. Don't judge me. That looks so good. Is it good? So I've never, I got peanut butter Oreo, which is a limited flavor right now. Okay. I got coffee Oreo, and then my favorite cookie monster. Nice. So let's try the oh, coffee. Thank you. Yum. Ooh, thank you. Me? Look at that. I got the cookie monster with caramel. Yeah. And then they put his whipped cream and cherry on the side so I can have it. Love that. Want it. Nope. And then uh, almonds. So it, this is coffee Oreo. I've never tried it. Oh, that's delicious. Is it good? Mm hmm. This is its taste? This is its taste, sorry. <laughs> that was right. Wait, you gotta do yours. I know. All right. So this is Cookie Monster. My favorite. Oh, that caramel. Ooh. All right, so Cookie Monster from Leatherbees. This is its taste. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Babe, this is so fucking good. <laughs> you guys, look at this store. Holy shoot, and it just goes over and over and over. How dare you? You did this the entire way. <laughs> so today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to all those couples out there. Happy Valentine's Day, babe. Hi, happy Valentine's Day. And this guy came up with an amazing idea for a video. Mm. I did? What's the idea? We chose, is it all the, let me, let, let, I'll let you. So I like to get um, a heart-shaped pizza from Papa Murphy's every year. And then I was like, hmm, I wonder what other places do heart-shaped pizzas. And I found four pizza places that made heart-shaped pizzas in, honors, in, in honor of Valentine's Day. Um, so, we are going to be trying heart-shaped pizzas. From four different pizza chains. All right, we're going to show you guys how they look. We're going to decide how good they are. And we'll rank from the worst to the best. Yes. And they're all roughly within the same price range. The cheapest one was $11. The most expensive one was $20. Right. So yeah. I'm excited. I'm hungry. Yes. And we're going to start off with the first pizza. The first pizza being... Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's. And have you had Papa John's before? I've never had Papa John's. Yes, pizza. that's that's something he told me, and I was like, you should at least try it. Like, I, it's not my favorite pizza by any means, but you should at least try it. Right. So the first pizza, and we're gonna see if they're all shaped like hearts, okay? Because there's some people who say, oh, this is a jack o' lantern pizza. It don't look like no jack o' lantern. Rude. But yeah, so first up, Papa John's. Let's see how it looks. All right, three, two, one. Uh, and they didn't. They oh, didn't. is that a pepperoncini? Yeah. Is that why you said? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I see the pizza. I see they did not cut it. Oh, they didn't cut it. Which is, that's wild. <laughs> they did not cut the pizza, but here is the heart shaped. All right. How are you not gonna cut a pizza? One second. All right, you guys, so it was not cut. We cut it. And? And it's a thin, I can just tell that it's a very thin. All yeah, right, this pizza's I, thin. I don't think I've gotten thin crust from Papa John's before. Um, 
So I didn't expect this to be thin crust, but it's okay. It came with the pepperoncini. Does this always happen? Yes. When we were in the car, I asked him if he liked banana peppers, and and he and he was like, yeah. And I was like, then you can have it. <laughs> and it also came with a special seasoning packet. Yeah. I've never seen this before in a pizza place. Um, I feel like this is familiar to me, so I think we should try the pizza with and without the seasoning. Perfect. All right, so grab a slice, babe, anyone. All right. Also, what did you think about the shape of the heart? It was kind of weak, right? It was a little weak. I, I, it was rounded at the bottom. I need the, the top of the heart to be more yeah. angled. Yeah. It's a little weak. All right, so Papa, Papa John's, John's pizza, heart-shaped. This, this is, is its, its taste. taste. Tinky? Mm -hmm. no. It's good. I feel like, you know what, I feel like it tastes like frozen pizza. That's what I was going to say. It tastes just like freaking like a, like a like frozen Red Baron or something, or it's like Tony's. Mm. Let's try the seasoning though. Okay. Oh, it's different colors. Yeah, I think there's probably like some Parmesan and some Italian seasoning. Okay. Mm. So this is with the seasoning, you guys. Yep. Let's try Do you mind if I pour that over the whole pizza? Mm hmm. It's good. Put it some on here. Thank you. Let me try this, yeah. Um. I guess I should bite this. It's part of the experience. I did not get the garlic butter because it's 50 cents more. And some people are going to be like, how are you going to get Papa John's without getting the garlic butter? I'm like, we did. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. So the heart shape was a little wonky. Um, they did not slice it for us. The flavor was weak. Um, it tastes like a frozen pizza. Mm-hmm. Would I eat it again? Mm -hmm. Would I eat all this if I had it? Like, if I... Yeah, I would... Yeah. It's not nasty. It just tastes like basic. It is basic. Very basic. Yeah. On to the next one. Boo Papa John's. Boo Papa John's. Next one up. We got we got good pizza. Come on, pizza guys. We got good pizza. We like pizza guys now, okay? The pizza guys does not disappoint in my opinion. So let's see how this one looks. Alright. Alright. One, two, three. Whoa. Okay, this is Square cut. And it's more of like a it's a cute little corner. Yeah, this one. This one looks better in the heart shape. And they sliced it. Yeah, they All sliced right. it. They sliced it in squares. All right, so you guys, this looks good. Um, I'm just getting a, one of these small corner slices. Me for too. The tasting. All right. So, Pizza Guy's heart shaped pizza. This, this is, is its, its taste. taste. Also, so the, this one, a lot, most of them, you got to pick your one topping. Uh, for pizza guys, for pizza guys, I chose the uh, the cup um, uh, cup and crisp pepperoni rather than the regular pepperoni because I think I, I prefer that kind of pepperoni. But you can get regular. Mm. And this is delicious. I definitely think this is better than the last one. This is miles better. Mm. Mm. And they took the time to to cut it. I wanted a little bit of bite. Mine only had more bread, so I want to like get a a, a, a bite. Mm -hmm. You want to half this one, or you can have your own. It don't matter. Ah, ah. Mm. I'm gonna put that in there. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh Something wait, better. the pepperonis just taste better. Yeah, it's like I prefer the cup and crisp. I think the regular pepperonis are also better. Mmm. Better cut, better ingredients, better pizza. Pizza, pizza guys. guys. That was good. Yeah. I love pizza guys. Are we giving our ratings to these? We didn't rate Papa John's on a, on a one to five. Oh, we didn't. What would you give Papa John's on a one to five? Okay, Papa John's, the one that we just had. Yeah. We forgot to rate this. Um, I'm going to give it a two. Um, I agree. I'm going to give it a two It's as a well. two. Nothing yeah. wowing me. Yeah, it's not like, it doesn't taste actively bad, but it does, like, it's like, it, it was the second cheapest, and it tastes 
Worse than a frozen pizza. Now, what are you getting, pizza guys? Um, I want to give this a four. I was going to do the same. Yeah. Four. Next one up. I'm excited for this. Mountain Mike's. If you guys have never had Mountain Mike's, go try it. If you have it in your state, go. Uh, I don't believe that this one is a nationwide chain, It's the best pizza. This is my favorite pizza of all time. So when I got the Cup and Crisp, like the, the mini pepperonis from Pizza Guys, I don't think Pizza Guys has always had those. Um, but Mountain Mike's has always had those pepperonis, and it's always been the signature Mountain Mike's thing. So... Oh, um, <laughs> all right, you ready? Box. The they, box, they do a box. Look at this, it. yeah, yeah. Pizza made fresh from the heart, and three, two, one. Oh, that is uh, that is a strong heart. That they're kind of like strips, like breadsticks. Yes, it's strong, it's a strong, you could tell right yeah. off the bat, it's a heart. Um, this looks great, it looks a little burnt on the ends, yeah. Um, but hey, let's all right, let's go for. Oh, look at, a first shirt. of all, look at how thick and long, <laughs> look how thick and long that is. Now, this is the most expensive pizza that we got. This one was $20. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Yeah. And they load this, <sighs> they load this up. Mountain Mike's Pizza. This heart-shaped pizza, this is its taste. Mm. Oh, fuck. Um. Uh, mm. It's just. Oh my god. There's nothing quite like Mountain Mike's. Mm mm. It's got its own specific flavor. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. Does she get it? Does she get it? She got it. Mm. Oh man. Mm. Babe. Is it better than Pizza Guys? This is why Mountain Mike's is everything. They put love into their pizza. Like they are, they don't skimp. They, the sauce is amazing. The cheese ratio, amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. Mmm. So what was your rating? Five. I think I'm gonna give it a four. Because mm. it, it's very good. I don't know if I think it's significantly better than Pizza Guys, but we'll see. Mm, I, we're, I think when we're at the end, we're gonna rank them all. And then, Five. And so our next pizza um, is currently in the oven. Do you guys know why? Hmm. What, what, what pizza place could this one be? I'll give you a hint. It shares part of its name with our first pizza. It's... Also, oh. this one will also not be cut like our first pizza, but at least this one has an excuse. Right. We'll see what it is right now. All right, you guys, he is bringing the next pizza, the last pizza we are going to be reviewing. This is from... Papa Murphy's. Oh. Okay. There is the Papa Murphy's pizza. It looks like a circle. <laughs> it's a very... <laughs> the the heart is there, but it's like the Papa John's. It's pretty weak. Yeah. Um, this one's fresh out of the oven, though, so it has, so it has the, a bit of an advantage. It also means that it's still quite hot. <laughs> All right, so Papa Murphy's, I don't know if that's nationwide, but you basically... I believe it is. You grab it, big. you order, they put it together, they give it to you, you go home and bake it. My thing is, you still never answer my question. I'm wondering, what made this a good idea? Like, when I think about ordering pizza, I want something that's already cooked so I can eat it. But why do people need it to take it home raw? So, there's, uh, the, I think the, the major uh, reason is you can grab the pizza, like, at any time of the day and make it ready when you're ready to eat it. So you can get it and have it, like, put it in the fridge, eat it to plan to eat it later. Gotcha. So, like, you're on your way home from work, you're not going to eat right when you get home. So you grab your pizza on your way home, it's it's cold. Or you have to call, pay delivery prices, but you can just pick it up, put it in, fresh out of the oven, guaranteed. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, 
fair enough. Uh, it literally just got out of the oven, so yeah, it's still I'm kind of scared. Hot. I'm very scared here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Yeah, it's still very hot. Let's okay. talk some more. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Uh, so our Valentine's was good. Yeah. We watched uh, Franken... Lisa Frankenstein. Lisa Frankenstein. Great movie, you guys. Mm -hmm. um, as you guys could see, we were filming in the in the video. Yeah. Um, you got your Slimer bucket. My Slimer bucket. I'll do a video on that separately so you could really see it. But I did not know that was a thing. Okay, so that was really cool. We got that. And then we went to Leatherby's. Is that nationwide? No. Oh, there's man. Like three of them in California, I believe. Leatherby's is so good. I've never had that. And I had a Cookie Monster ice cream. Have you guys seen that already? It was just good. It was a, it was a nice little Valentine's. Yeah. I love it, baby. I love you more. So we've been having a really good time. Um, yeah, it was just chill. We're having fun. We got compliments on our matching hoodies. Yes, we um, got matching hoodies. Let me grab one. We got matching hoodies. This guy surprised me with these ghost face hoodies. So yep. there's the front and then the back. How cool is that? So we got three different compliments from three different people, and it was really yeah. cool. And um, uh, and now we're matching again. Yes. Because we do that. Yeah. All right. I'm ready to try this. All Papa right. Murphy's Heart Baker Pizza. This, this is, is its taste. Hot, hot. Mm -hmm. It's so hot. Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. What are you thinking? I'm really curious about your opinion. Okay, so it's all right. I I like the sauce. Their the flavor of their sauce is different. It's something about it's unique. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's like a lot of like maybe oregano or some or kind of like pizza seasoning, Italian seasoning or something in it. It tastes good. Um, if I had to rate it, I would give it a three. Honestly, I think I'm also going to give it a three if I'm being honest. But when I took my bite, I was like, mm. Mm -hmm. I was like, it, there's like nostalgia in there. There's like mm -hmm. emotions associated with eating this pizza for me. Um, but it also has the advantage of being hot, whereas the other ones, like, we had to, like, grab multiple pizzas, and yeah. so can't control the heat of the pizza once we've acquired it. So, well, this one is in the best possible, um... State. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Uh, delicious, though. I love it. I love it a lot. But okay. I agree with the three. Oh, three? Yeah. Okay. All right, so. Mm hmm Ooh. <laughs> we went to hella places. Yeah, we got the hall all together now. So with all these pizzas right in front of you. Right. What's your, how do you want to rank them? So I definitely think the, the, the worst is Papa. Papa John's. Papa John's. Not only did the place look run down, there was no one in there, but it. They didn't cut it. It was thin. It was lacking. It, just, it didn't really have a frozen flavor. pizza. Yeah, it's it a frozen was, pizza. It was it was easily the worst. Yeah, that's not even a, really up for debate. I think. Yeah. So Papa John's is last place. Yes. Um, the one thing that it has going for it is that it's slightly cheaper than the pizza guys and Mountain Mike's, but thirteen bucks. But it's also the smallest pizza. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> so. Um. Right behind it, what do you think? Um, I think this is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, I don't know, but... I'll give my rankings, you give yours. Yes. Okay? So, I think Papa John's the worst. Okay? Mm hmm Second, I mean, in uh, third, place. third place would be Papa Murphy's. Yeah. Papa John, Papa Murphy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Both Papas down below. Okay? Then I'm going to go with Pizza Guys. Pizza Guys is a staple. It's... I've had it. I know what it tastes like. I know what to expect. It was good. But my main one, and I don't know if I'm being biased because I love Mountain Mike's Pizza so much. That is my number one. And it had the best shaped heart to me. 
Yeah, it had I like do a nice agree little with that. I actually little... do agree with that. So that would be my ranking for this mm -hmm. Valentine's Day pizza. My ranking? Yeah. Uh, so Papa John's is obviously the worst one. Okay. Um, and third place, I'm going to give it to, and I'm actually sad about this because I feel like outside of the heart-shaped pizza, this is probably the best pizza of the four, in Don't my opinion. You do it. In third place, I'm going to put Pizza Guys. What the? F <laughs> third place, I'm putting Pizza Guys. Um, it, it was, you know, it's really good pizza, but I've had much better Pizza Guys pizza. So that's sort of like where I'm like, okay, I, I've had it better. So I'm disappointed in that sense. Second place, I'm going to give to, um, I swear to God, if you say Mountain Mike's, you son of a <laughs> Mountain, babe, for real, how are you going to do that? So what? The one thing that I'm taking into account here is price. <sighs> um, price and also there is the nostalgia there. Um, Mountain Mike's cost roughly twice as much as Papa Murphy's and they're the same size pizza and Papa Murphy's is maybe only a little bit less good. But honestly, because, because I was able to control when I was eating this and I got it fresh, this was the best tasting pizza to me personally. I rated it a little lower because I felt like I had bias there, but on my personal ranking, my bias reigns king and mm. Wow, that is crazy. This is the pizza I look forward to getting every Valentine's. So that's your number one. Mm -hmm. All right, I mean, we're different, but we're in love. Mm. Um, yeah, so, um, Great. <laughs> wow, I didn't expect that. That was a that was a Damn guys, he's about to break up with me. Over not picking Mountain Mike's to be first. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. Um but yeah, it was fun. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have leftovers for days, you guys. This is gonna be great. No, I'm gonna eat this all today. He probably will, actually. <laughs> um but yeah, I hope you guys have a good Valentine's Day. I hope you guys did something special, and if you guys don't have anybody special, treat yourself. Love yourself. Treat yourself. All right. Have a you day, spa day. Watch a movie, stay in pajamas all day. All right. That's what I would do. Okay. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today. If you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, favorite, share with your friends and family for more content. And until next time, you guys, don't be a lemon. Be pizza. Peace.